everyone, it's Shell from Scrap Secrets and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for the hashtag Team Tiny September 2023 hop and our theme for this month is embossing. We're going to start off with a piece of white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter and I'm going to be putting some light kale and clay all over the card front to make sure that no embossing powder sticks to areas that we don't want it to. I then placed down my A Colorful Life Design Flamingo stencil onto the paper and I'm going to be using the Versamark ink in two ways. First is direct to the stencil and paper and then I'm going to be using my ink blending tool to make sure that all of the small areas got some Versamark ink and then because I'm extra I am going to go over it a second time with the entire ink pad. You don't have to do this, I just was afraid that I didn't get all the areas. Once that's cleaned off, I bring out my Lawn Fawn Fundamentals embossing powder in rose gold and sprinkle that onto the background. Once the entire background is covered, I will make sure that I go in with a paintbrush and just wipe off any of the excess embossing powder that may have gotten into areas where I don't want it. So it was very, very few that light kale and clay really does a good job of making sure that there's no static left on the paper. So now for heat embossing, I bring out my Wagner heat tool and put it on level two. First, I'll heat it up to the side for a couple of seconds just to get it started. And then I go to the paper and that helps with warping. So you can see that as you move the heat tool down, it will start to emboss the images and they'll start to become shiny from that matte image that you see. So you want to make sure you move the heat tool around so that you don't burn the images and also so that you don't uh, get as much warping with your paper. You will get a little bit usually, but if you keep moving your heat tool around, you won't experience much of it. So now we're gonna move on to the die cutting portion of it. And I'm using Spellbinders Designer Series Tropical Paradise, this flamingo, and I'm going to be cutting it out of white cardstock for the body and the wing, and then black cardstock for the legs. For all of the pieces, I'm going to dip them into the Versamark embossing ink and then I'm going to be putting the embossing powder on top of them. For the body I'm going to be using Martha Stewart pink carnation embossing powder and I'm just going to do one layer of that with the exception of the beak. The beak will be in black and then for the wing I'm going to go ahead and do it twice with that same pink carnation embossing powder. And then for the legs and the beak, I'm going to be using Recollections Detail Embossing Powder in Ebony. So while you're watching me do this, I thought I would tell you a little bit about Team Tiny and what this hop is all about. So Team Tiny is a collection of crafters who have under a thousand subscribers who are actively looking to grow their channels. So we come together once a month with a theme and create really amazing projects mostly cards but not every time people do cards uh, people will do all different kinds of paper crafting projects so i hope that you guys will follow along with us we are part of a hashtag driven hop so you want to click on the hashtag in the title of the video and everybody's videos should pop up there's usually between five and ten um sometimes maybe more sometimes less uh depending on the month but usually between five and ten people who participate in this so if you are seeing other random videos in between the videos please keep scrolling down um youtube has had a weird algorithm lately and for some reason it every time we go to do a hashtag it doesn't seem like it always pulls up everybody's videos so hopefully you'll be able to see everybody's um, if i remember i will put a playlist together in the more information section for everybody who is participating in it um, and we really appreciate you joining us for the hops sometimes there are giveaways sometimes there's not but it's great just to see what everybody is creates around the theme that we are given each month so we are like I said we are small channels who are actively looking to grow our subscriber base 
We thank everybody that has subscribed, has watched, has commented. It really means a lot to the smaller channels because we work just as hard as the bigger channels and don't always get as many views. So anything uh, is appreciated. So if you could spread the word about the hop, we'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to join Team Tiny, I will leave a link to the Facebook group below. You just have to make sure that you answer all three questions. Otherwise, we will deny you because we have to make sure that you do have a YouTube channel that you are that you do have less than a thousand subscribers because those are the uh, parameters of our channel that's the whole reason that we come together is that we are smaller channels who are trying to actively grow them okay let's get back to the card we're going to be working on the card front I put this to the side to cool off for a couple of minutes so we wouldn't smudge any of the images and I'm going to be using two colors of Distress Oxide to ink up the background. To ink up the whole entire thing, I used tumbled glass, and then I went around the edges with some peacock feather to darken up the sides. Now, with embossing powder, the ink sits on top of the images, and you can see that I have a paper towel there. It's for two reasons. One is so that I don't get fingerprints on the ink that I already put down, but then also I'm going to use that same paper towel to wipe off the ink that sits on top of the embossed images. So once I take the towel off, you can see the, the flamingo on the top right really had a lot of ink sitting on it. And I don't know whether I didn't fully emboss it or what the deal was, but you could see some of the white paper underneath of it through it. And I really didn't like the way it looked. It almost looked like it had chipped off. So don't worry, we are actually going to cover it up. And that's the one great thing about cards. You can almost always save them by covering it up with something else. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And if you didn't see this video you would never know that I made that mistake. So before we finish the card we are going to glue the image together and I'm using some honeybee be creative glue on the back of the wing to attach it to the flamingo and then I'm going to be using some 3M adhesive foam to add to the back of the flamingo so it's going to pop up off of the background. I also use that same glue to go ahead and attach the legs to the card front so only the only part that is popped up is the uh, flamingo's body. So once that is all done we are going to get ready to start on the sentiment. I'm using a sentiment from Honeybee Stamps Wish You Were Here stamp set that says just live in the dream. I found a scrap piece of white cardstock that was just wide enough for that image and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to heat emboss it in black so I'm going to use the light kaolin clay over top of it. Use the same Versamark ink to go ahead and ink up the image on a stamp block. Stamp it down and then we're going to use that same recollections detailed embossing powder in ebony to over over the sentiment and then heat it up when you do this you do really have to be careful and I kind of mentioned it earlier in the background you do have to wait for it to kind of cool down for a couple of seconds because if you don't when I had actually heated this up this is actually the second time that I did it because the first time that I did it it flew across and hit my hand and because it was still hot it kind of burned my hand but also it smudged because it touched something else so you have to be really careful put it to the side and let it kind of cool down for a minute or two before you move on now I'm using the same two colors of distress oxide to make it very similar to the background have the tumbled glass in the middle and then around the edges we're going to have the peacock feathers. I will also take that same paper towel and lightly rub over top of the image to take off any of the remaining distress oxide. Distress oxide is a little chalky so it will kind of leave a little bit of a film on top of it if you don't wipe it off. So, But if that's the look you're going for, that's your prerogative. You can leave that. I tend to wipe it off. I'm using that same foam tape to go ahead and pop up the sentiment and then we're going to cover my mistake. You can see there in between the pieces of foam tape that the uh, old or the other sentiment that I heat embossed was on there. We're going to go ahead and take that card panel and glue it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base 
And once that is together, that is the card for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments or questions or suggestions for future hop videos, leave them in the comments below and make sure you click on the hashtag in the description so that you can see everybody's videos. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video. Bye.